most people imagine that horse-drawn trams went out years ago. But in the Isle of Man, of course, they're still a great tourist attraction. Partly because, unlike other forms of transport, the tram has changed little since types like this even earlier electric tram car, built as long ago as 1896, and now one of the highlights of the British Transport Commission Museum of Historical Relics. Few of us realized that we had electric trams at the turn of the century, yet this one, now fully restored, operated also in the Isle of Man right up until the outbreak of war in 1939. However, other forms of transport have changed. The bus, for example. These old newsreel shots recall the legendary Old Bill, which served as a troop carrier in France in World War I. Today, that fine old veteran, now looked after in gracious retirement by the Auxiliary Omnibus Companies Association, still runs as smoothly as ever. Old Bill is one of the remaining few B-type buses introduced to London in 1910 to replace the horse bus. The initial order was for 60 vehicles, but by 1913, no fewer than 2,500 had been built and were on the road. During the First World War, 1,300 of them were acquired by the War Office as troop carriers, and a further 300 of them were engaged on defence work. Actually, strange as it seems, the B-type bus was not as fast as its horse-drawn predecessor, being capable of a steady 10 miles an hour. Although in all fairness, our modern buses don't average much more with traffic conditions as they are. But then, of course, old Bill, with his solid tyres, was more used to the battlefield mud of the Western Front, as these famous names testify, than to modern roads. Relics such as this have become just a faint memory, so it's good to know that the collection will one day soon be open to the public.